I hope all of you are doing great today. This is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. And what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be playing a little bit with this Flower Power G3 iMac. Now, as you know, I've always wanted one of these machines and I was lucky enough to get it, as well as a Dalmatian G3 iMac, which we will be covering that in another video. But anyway, we have upgraded this iMac quite a bit already, actually. So what I have done is I actually replaced the logic board in this. Now this already came with the 500 megahertz board. And my goal was to transplant a new 500 megahertz logic board into the Dalmatian. The Dalmatian currently has a 450 megahertz board in it, which technically it's supposed to have either a 500 or 600 megahertz board in it. So when I was working on this one, when I got the logic board, I already had the hard drive out of this and I put a crucial SSD drive in it, 128 gigabyte. That's the most this will support. I also, and actually that board that I bought from was actually a 600 megahertz board, which would make this the highest version you could get it in. So I put that in this machine. Now that 600 megahertz board is actually a brand new, never used iMac G3 board. I found somebody that had some new old stock and I got that in it. And so now we have a 600 megahertz flower power iMac. We also are running that crucial SSD drive in it. And then I also put a new PRAM battery in it and I maxed out the memory, which unfortunately on this model, the most you can go is one gigabyte. It would be nice if we could pop three or four gigabytes in this thing. It would definitely help it out a lot, but it is what it is. But anyway, this thing works really good. The optical drive works just fine on it. The sound system works good. The speakers look great because I've had the bottom off of this and everything looked good. Now there was a couple just a little bitty pieces of gray plastic and we know what that's from. But in the front here, you cannot tell it. Visually, even when I had it apart, I really couldn't tell it. It's up behind where the screws go, but it's fine. It's intact about 99% intact, which on these older machines is kind of rare to have. So what we're gonna do is we're going to power this up. You'll see what it looks like here. Now it is gonna flicker because of the refresh rate on the camera versus the CRT. So I'm gonna push the button here. And I turn the volume down a little bit. This thing really cranks up the volume on it. And it's gonna boot up in just a second here. And we're gonna go into Tiger here. And it will calm down a little bit, but yeah, that's about what you're gonna see here, unfortunately. It's kinda of irritating there. But trust me, the screen looks beautiful. It's flawless. And it loads up pretty quick. And like I said, this is a 600 megahertz machine that I did put a different type of wallpaper on it here. Uh, almost kind of looks like Big Sur. Now, uh, we'll go up here where it says about this Mac here. And you can see that it is a 600 megahertz iMac. And we have the one gigabyte RAM in it. Shows we have Tiger on it. And we can go here and hit more information here. And you can see the model identifier here, the CPU speed, the bus speed, the boot ROM version, which that's the version you have to have if you're gonna be running Tiger. Uh, and then again, you see the two memory modules here. It tells you that everything is okay. And these are the PC133 ROM, RAM chips. So that's your fastest memory you can have in this thing. I do not have an airport card in this one, but that's fine. We have it plugged into the ethernet. That works just fine. Now the Dalmatian does have an airport card in it, but it's not gonna work on my network uh, because it does not support the, uh, the newer security system. So I'll have to hook up an older airport base station just so I can use the wireless functions on these iMacs, which I think would be pretty cool. And as far as the graphics, this is the uh, the top of the line graphics on these, these have the ATA Rage 128 Pro 2 card in it. it has 16 megabytes. Still pretty miserable. I mean, my, my modified cube puts this to shame by a long ways because I have the, 
a flashed, it's actually a flash card out of a PC machine, but it's AGP graphics on it, or this is not. So yeah, so this uh, works pretty good. Of course, these older iMacs, they have the USB 1 on it there. Pretty slow, but you know what? You can get up to 1.5 megabytes a second. So we're going to uh, get out of the system profiler here. And as far as the system, well, actually, you know what? Let's get the system profiler here. We'll get out of that. So it looks pretty much the same in terms of what you have on your profiler here. Nothing terribly exciting about that. I have this also in classic mode so we can share stuff back and forth between classic and tiger. And we'll get out of that. And then what we're gonna do is uh, we will uh, click Firefox here. Now, like I said, this um, kind of takes a while to get into the internet here, but we'll let it do its thing here. And I need to tweak this because this was actually uh, tweaked a little bit more from my Ruby in anticipation of when I get that upgraded logic board for it. It's starting to load up here. There we go, going to eBay here. We'll just pull this down a little bit there. There we go. And it takes a little while to load up on eBay here. And like I said, we'll have to find a little different version of Tim Four Fox for this here. But yeah, it, uh, it gets on the internet very slow. I won't even attempt to get on YouTube because it will just, uh, you won't be able to play anything on it. But again, this screen looks beautiful, perfect. I set the geometry on the screen so it looks really good. And you see you get the little spinning wheel because it's still loading up for eBay there. But let's get out of the uh, 10-4 Fox here. Let's get out of that. A little laggy there because of the internet there. It'll get out of it there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into uh, Tiger here. Come on, there we go. Quick 10 4 Fox here. There we go, there we go. So let's get out of this, let's uh, shut it down. And then we'll get into uh, System 9 here. Okay, we'll close that down there. All right, so now we'll get into System 9 here. We'll hold down on the Option key. And then when that screen comes on, we'll let off the keyboard there. And as soon as that gets done, the little watch symbol there will select 9.2. I have this defaulted Tiger, so when it when you turn it on, it will always go to Tiger. That's the startup disk. And I have some more finely tuned applications to go onto Tiger to make it run a lot better than what it is. So here we go. So let's just click this up there, and it goes pretty fast too. It loads into the OS 9 pretty quick here. And this is the uh, final version of OS 9 on it. And you can see it's loading up down there in the window there. There's a flower power wallpaper that's exclusive to OS 9.2. Thinking about copying that over so I can have that on my Tiger I have there. But anyway, yeah, so this is a uh, Tiger here and we got the time and date up here. And I got it flashing in seconds there. And that's the current time. Look in the tiger here. And again, we have, uh, we have some things in there. Uh, I have Manosaur 2 in here. Uh, it does not play that good on here. It's just a little too much for this thing. Plays great on the Cube or the G5. But like I said, I got to get a version. There is a version of Nanosaur that is a little finer tune for OS 10. I just gotta remember where to find it. But as far as the applications, get your standard calculator, automator, your iTunes, all that kind of stuff. Your utilities is the same. Uh, 
value pack. Not sure what that is. Oh, clip art. Okay, so we got that. Value pack installer. Hmm. You should click that. See what's on that. To be honest with you, I don't remember what's on that. Take a look here. see here. Well, let's see, let's just uh, let's see what kinds of stuff we have here. Oh, this is Microsoft. Oh, okay, here, let's let's put this on here just for funsies here. Let's get this on here like so. And we'll just put everything on here. Why not? Uh, no need assistance, so we'll continue. Uh oh, error. File not found. Hmm. I guess we'll quit that. Let's go into. Um, better without it anyway. So then what we're gonna do, let's see, let's go to let's go to appearance here. Yeah you know, we got the flower power Selected, that's our theme. And there's our flower power theme. That's what we like. sounds every time we click it here. I like that. Yeah. Probably give us a little little funsies with it there. It's been a while since I played with OS9. Also have this on here too, which is nice. That toolkits right there. That's a very convenient tool to have. I have a copy of that. That's what I put on this FWB software. Very good thing to have, especially if you hook an external drive up to it. You can mount it. You can wipe the drive. Check different things on it. All right. I will show you um, on this um, Nanosaur 2 what I'm talking about here. So let me uh, click her on Tiger. And you're gonna see Nanosaur 2. And I will click on this app here and it will launch it. 
and we're going to hit the uh, demo version and no 3D glasses, color and we're doing it at the lowest resolution 16-bit for just good quality and we'll set it here and we will hit the escape button here I'll turn volume up a little bit here for you. In the year 4122, a soul nanosaur was sent 65 million years. All right, we'll get out of that there. And we will let's look at the settings here. We'll put this on kitty mode. play the game here. Now like I said it's this is a little that looks okay there but when he comes flying in from the screen here he's gonna be a little herky-jerky here you'll see what I'm talking about here. It's gonna load the game up there. The volume sounds good on it. go here he comes and he's just he's a little little herky jerky here and I got the lowest resolution here so it's it's not really not really playable here um, I mean it's uh, it's almost like a slideshow here the audio is good I mean what graphics you see look good but it's just not I'm gonna run it real good here, unfortunately. This is a fun game to play though, if you've not played it. So like I said, I gotta get the uh, original Manosaur on here and uh, play with that. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna exit out of that there and quit it there, because like I said, it's just, it's too painful to uh, watch like that. I'm a bad enough player already. But anyway, yeah, and then, um, We'll get out of that. And of course it wants to go to Firefox. Why does it want to do that? We'll first quit Firefox here. 10 4 Fox rather. Uh, first quit. Alright. Because we don't want to launch it there. I think it's because when you exit out of it, it wants to go to Pangea software, that's why. Uh, this thing works really good. Uh, like I said, we're gonna have to play around with some of the software on it, especially the games. I could get some older games on here so we can play some games on it. Uh, I do love these old CRTs. They are just awesome, awesome, awesome. And I had to slow this recording down to 1080, 30 frame uh, because of the fact that, it's, it, as you see, this, the refresh lines on the CRT monitor there. And you can see this is the Flower Power iMac. See the nice, beautiful floral pattern there. Looks really good here. Looks beautiful on the side there. And when you look at that OS9 wallpaper, it looks pretty much just like that. Pretty cool. And then on the other side here, same thing. Got that beautiful pattern on it. I really do like that. So once we get all the bugs out of this one, then we're going to be working on the Dalmatian one. But we'll play around with this a little bit more here. So anyway, um, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe and click that notification bell. We're on MeWe and Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter. I must say I'm on Twitter much more than I am on MeWe. And then also I'm on a couple other platforms as well. I'm on Rumble. That's an equivalent to YouTube, but they're out of Canada. So I have a channel. Go by the same name. Just look me up Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. You'll pull my channel up. Same thing. And I'm also on Odyssey also on that platform as well. So I'm on all three platforms. That way I can get a lot more traffic to my channel. So anyway guys, have a great day, have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.